Hi and welcome. I'm Jade Arizona Pele and I'm a qualified fashion and textile designer. So we are currently in the midst of the spring 2022 ready to wear shows and New York Fashion Week has just wrapped up. So I thought we would take a look at the best of these shows. Let's go. The beautifully constructed. I had to mention Peter Doe first. This range was absolutely stunning and beautifully constructed. Peter Doe has used words like functionality and comforting to describe his range and he also said it feels like home and it's about making your life easier while looking good. This range more than delivers on that and it manages to maintain that minimalist aesthetic while still having amazing attention to detail. So going back to the inspiration for this range, Peter Doe found some of this from old photographs of his family, one in particular of his mother holding a rose, which inspired some of these motifs on a few of the pieces. Altazara. This collection offered layers of inspiration and depth, and according to Joseph Altazara, it is eclectic and even a touch escapist. He even got a touch nostalgic by using the Shibori dyeing technique from a few seasons ago. I felt that the crochet details really elevated this collection with tactility and that the knit bases catered to the needs of consumers today. Three point one Philip Lim. I'm so impressed with seeing second generation fabrics so beautifully constructed. The designer was said to have been inspired by garden blooms, but you can see it interpreted so thoughtfully and in less obvious ways, like the sleeves and lapel shapes that were inspired by petal shapes or the pops of bright colors that are found in the garden. With Proenza Schooler, there is a number of different references in this collection from the bright color palette to scuba and surf references and those handmade lays that the models wore around their neck, all of which was inspired by island vibes. Key details were fringing and cutouts, all seen on comfortable, easy to wear pieces from the garments themselves right down to the footwear. Jonathan Simkai. This was probably my favorite collection from New York Fashion Week. It encompassed everything one needs, comfort, wearability, beauty, innovation, and creativity. Designer Jonathan Simkai created beautiful curved shapes with seams and cutouts, each piece as flashing to the body as the one before. Various textures and bases created drapes and layers, all with a soft, wearable color palette. The bold and playful. Perhaps the most playful of them all, Jeremy Scott describes his collection for Moschino as ladies who lunch, but it's also nursery rhymes. You can see many literal references like animal motifs, toy accessories, mobile headpieces, and milk bottles. All this with classic ladylike cuts in bright colors. Tom Ford. Although the shapes were laid back and commercial, this range was quite bold and glitzy. Bright colors were elevated with sequin and satin bases and statement accessories. Key to this collection included unbuttoned knotted shirts, stacked necklaces and metallic knits. Alice and Olivia. This range was fun and bold in statement color. There was a sense of luxury in the pieces, but the fun and playful element was definitely not lost in sequin stripes, 3D flowers, and smiley motifs.
Anna Sui. What a quirky and vibey show. This range had fun Reiki vibes written all over it. Crochet pieces, ankle socks, straw hats, and groovy prints all made for an exciting show. The look and mood evoke feelings of being at a tropical tiki bar. Definitely a fun show with exciting pieces. The breathtaking. This is a combination of the garments themselves and the experience of the actual show. Ula Johnson. Perfectly located at Brooklyn Botanic Garden, this venue set the tone for what was a stunning collection. Ulla Johnson never disappoints when it comes to frills and prettiness, but this was also balanced with cotton shirts, quilted gilets, contrast tip coats and jackets. This change stayed true to the brand identity of femininity but also stayed relevant to where trend and fashion is heading today. It was a sweet mix of casual and pretty. Sanka Set This collection is quite feminine and pretty and happy but it also has that hint of grunge, we can see that with the footwear. The color palette is fresh and joyful and the backdrop of New York City was quite perfect as it provided that contrast to this dainty and soft collection. So we can see very girly and playful details, a lot of frills, self ties, ditzy prints. I saw some lettuce edging, gauging, cutouts. This can be seen scattered throughout the pieces, uh, making it quite pretty and joyful to look at. Adim. This digital show is no less impactful as Adim creates a visual fantasy that showcases the collection. The garments itself talk of a classy vacation lady there are also more elevated dressier pieces like a window pane print matching set. Key to this range are dainty frills, side entry pockets and little ties, which in conjunction with the fantasy landscape definitely take you to another place. Romance and confidence was in the air with the Michael Kors collection. Voluminous circle skirts, bralettes and cinched waists harmonized with sleek tailored looks which had a nice balance. I love the classic look of some of the model's hair and red lips which was all that was needed with these timeless pieces, a lot of them having 50s inspired vibes. This collection was beautifully cut, had enough variety of fabrics and texture you couldn't help but smile while watching this visual dream. Oscar de la Renta. This was suddenly a captivating digital show. It spoke of the New York life but in a much more glamorous way. Painterly magnolia prints and dramatic evening dresses take center stage here as you see some well-known faces throughout the digital show. Variety can be found in details and styles. On the one hand you have pretty printed shorts and coats and on the other there's raffia fringing, sequins and balloon shapes. Drama was certainly the order of the day. The new and inspirational. Harlem's fashion row. Diversity and equal opportunity are definitely where the future is headed. Harlem's fashion row honors this message by showcasing emerging black designers and giving them a platform to showcase their newest ranges. New York Men's Day showcased emerging menswear and genderless designers. 10 talented designers were given a platform to present their collections. 
Some of the messages that came through were sustainability, all natural fibers, and inspiration drawn from American surf culture. More on the new side, for the first time ever we see a VMA new generation fashion show. A list of designers were given the task of reworking and finding inspiration from the VMA's most iconic looks. We saw legendary Janet Jackson, Madonna and Britney Spears VMA's inspired ranges. Studio 189 this was by far the collection that inspired me the most. Labeled Inheritance, this collection gives you all the feels. Powerful messages the brand stands for are celebrating black heritage, support for African artisans, sustainability, and in this particular collection, honoring the 20th anniversary of 9-11. This range was more than just a beautiful collection. It spoke a deep message. The range itself was vibrant and rich, with striking prints and energetic and diverse models. A new introduction was swimwear and the range itself was rich in tactility. This was truly an impactful show. The must mention shows. So we have come to the end of this video. That was the best of New York Fashion Week. If you guys would like to see my take on the best of London, Milan and Paris, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I will be posting that shortly after the show is wrapped. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like and be sure to comment down below if you have any of your favorite shows that I didn't feature. There were, of course, many shows. Um, I just chose the best of the best. Um, so yeah, be sure to comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!